bet? What would you bet on? What, let's say uh, you have somebody with a gun to your head asking, I'm, I'm sorry, I just watched a startup uh, TV series uh, last night. Uh, I'm in a startup, so there's always a gun to our head. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So what if, uh, you know, what if they come and, uh, and, and they say you need to build a, a solution to, uh, to put 100,000 transactions per second in the next six months? What are you going to do? Well, what kind of transactions are they? Yeah. This, this matters a lot. If, if it's all simple payments, then there's some stuff we might know how to do. If you want sort of arbitrary smart contract functionality, then much, much more difficult to scale to a lot of transactions. Yeah. Let's say uh, simple transactions, to make it simple. Oh, you could probably do that today. Just, just record. Just payment? Just record the data. Well, let's say the ad server, and you need to record all the data, all the clicks happening on the system on the ad server, and all the oh. transactions. So you just need to commit to data, and you don't have to do any computation or validation? Like proof of stake is, you know, some version of proof of stake is usually will get you there with sharding. Like you can do that today and probably get to 100,000. I believe last time I looked at the specifications. Uh, Louder, please. Yeah. Last time I looked at the specifications, uh, Tendermint on a consortium chain was in the tens of thousands of uh, transactional validations on a single uh, validating node uh, per second. So uh, obviously, the simple solution is to go with centralization, but that's not the solution that the community wants. It's not the solution that uh, is optimal because centralization. Um, essentially removes a lot of the very security that the blockchain creates in the first place. So you have to ask what level of compromise you're willing to accept. Are, are we giving up security for speed? And is that an acceptable compromise in the application that you're looking at? It may be within advertising because the cost of any given interaction is essentially fractions of a penny. It may not be. But that's really the determinant is the end users. If they're willing to accept that compromise for that utility, then that is absolutely the correct method for a temporary holdover. I would say that the ideal solution is definitely decentralized in nature, though. What he said. <laughs>